Uh, so this is the overview of my 3D track gimbal recreation video. Um, I've obviously scaled up the jet and the UFO just for this overview so that everyone can understand what's really going on. And don't worry about my numbers, they're not perfect because uh, this is just meant to be an A to B track. I didn't do a frame by frame modification. The most important piece of information to note from this video is that the UFO is actually tilted in the path that it's traveling and then it turns to the side at the very end in a deliberate move to change direction. Um, this is really important because of a lot of people have been claiming that this is a lens flare, but you can actually see it change shape. Also, I've tried to put it in a jet into in its place, and any any jet just does not fit at all. Given the angle that we're flying into this, the negative 54 degree angle, uh, we would see something, some fuselage or wings or something. Um, and you can see just how accurately my representation matches the original. One thing to note, obviously, is that my, my hot air wake imitation is not an actual fluid simulation, but that's what it should be. That's what that's what these details are, these little artifacts around the edges. You can notice it towards the end of the video, right before the thing rotates, you can actually see what looks like shadows or um, god rays coming off of the UFO, and that's actually caused by the dissipating in the cold air, um, the heat coming off of the UFO and dissipating into the cold air. So that is what my hot air wake render is trying to illustrate, but in reality I could get this to be much more accurate with a real fluid simulation, which would curl around the craft and create these bubbles. So if you watch the original video, you'll notice that there is actually a noticeable dimensional aspect to this artifact around the craft. As we fly alongside the craft at the beginning of the video, the cold air obscures the lower right hand portion of the craft because that indicates the direction that it's traveling. And then as we fly around to look directly at the object, that's when the artifact looks like a god ray effect the most because we're flying directly into this wake. The two major takeaways from this are that the object does change shape throughout the video that is consistent with my representation of what is actually happening in three-dimensional space. And then the second takeaway is that I've illustrated the hot air wake that's coming off of the UFO, which I didn't even notice when I was working on this originally for a long time. It completely went under my radar and now that I see it, it's very obvious that this is exactly what's happening. The infrared camera is picking up the hot air coming off of the UFO as it travels through space.